Good morning, everybody, or good evening, depending on where you guys are at. Um, welcome to the DC Cap E Sessions for 2021. This is uh, our February edition, and we'll be talking about how we went live with Kathy's concept. So, um, looking forward to this event. We have an awesome lineup of just all the partners that were involved with the process of uh, of the Kathy's concept website. So. Kathy's Concept is a premier customizable gifts provider that sells items ranging from travel, home, wedding, and other related product lines. Information related to new orders, product details, real-time inventory, and customer information were to be manually transferred from one application to another. This was one of their biggest pain points with their site. Orders placed in big commerce had to be manually entered into Distribution 1, and the latest information on inventory and product details from Distribution 1 had to be updated manually into big commerce. Kathy's concepts require the automation of data entry related to orders, products, inventory, and other key business data from and to their ERP and e-commerce software. So today we'll be going over the case study with some of the, the partners who were involved with this project. I'd like to have a big shout out to all the sponsors for Distribution One, from BigCommerce and from DC Cap Flores. Uh, these are the guys that, that we'll be speaking today. So, and you know, with DC Cap, we, we, we're, we're really big in community and, you know, we, we love to bring the, the ecosystem together. So um, all these different companies, they, they, have, they have lots of uh, skills and, and they're very good at what they do. So if there's anything that we could do to help to even um, connect you guys to the right technology partner, uh, do let us know. You, you can reach me at timothyd at dccap.com. So that's timothy and then d as in david at dccap.com. Next, I'd like to bring up uh, Adam Semyon. Uh, so Adam Semyon, he's the partnership manager at Big Commerce, working with strategic partners like DC Cap, and has many years of experience in e-commerce and SaaS technologies. Lately, Adam has worked with several partners and merchants to build out specific B2B solutions on Big Commerce, and would like to share a bit on why Big Commerce is a good fit for merchants uh, wanting to sell B2B exclusively or B2B to B2C all inside one place. So, I'd like to bring up Adam Semyon to the stage. Thank you, Tim. Just working on sharing my screen here. Great intro. Thank you. Perfect. Excuse me, but bandwidth is a little bit slow. I'm actually in a cabin in Lake Tahoe right now. It's beautiful, but the internet is a little bit choppy. So bear with me if my video lags a little bit, but I'll be here. Um, so really quickly, B2B e-commerce is projected to hit $1.8 trillion in the U.S. by 2023. Um, so what we're seeing is more and more companies are going online. Um, this stat is actually from Forrester. It, I, I think it's a little bit outdated. Um, with the uptick that we saw due to everything that happened with COVID, we're finding that more B2B businesses are joining are coming and trying to get online even faster, considering they weren't able to sell in their traditional channels and methods uh, previously. So we think this industry is going to go pretty dramatic. Um, just to put this into context, uh, the overall technology industry is about $32 trillion. Um, AI, artificial intelligence, that sits around $16 trillion. Um, so again, uh, B2B e -com is going to be a force to be reckoned with, and it already is. And that's just growing faster and faster due to everything that's happening in the world and how people have had to been forced to adapt. So again, just, just some more stats here. Um, really what this represents is the, the forecasts in e-commerce sales. Um, we're expecting it to grow about 16, 17% almost. Um, by 2023, which is a pretty dramatic injury, increase for an industry that's already so large. And when we talk about those buying experiences that B2B buyers are having, um, what more companies are realizing and what we've certainly realized here at Big Commerce is that B2B buyers and sellers prefer the new digital reality. And what that really speaks to is the overall experience that they have buying, um, buying B2B items. They realize that what they really would like is a more consumer-oriented buying path and customer journey. Um, and I'll speak to that a little bit more later in the presentation here. So let's speak specifically to B2B and BitCommerce. So a little bit on us. Um, BitCommerce was founded in 2009. 
Um, we recently uh, went public um, in October. So you can find us under the stock ticker Big C. We have about 750 employees across the world. Um, our headquarters are in Austin, Texas. They're actually originally in Sydney, Australia, but the founders decided to move the official headquarters to Austin. We still do have offices in Sydney. Um, we are actually working across 120 countries overall. We have 5,000 different agency and technology partners and like, very much like DC Cap. Um, and we have 25 billion in merchant sales that we see on an annual basis. So a little bit more about why BitCommerce is good for B2B. Um, we're actually getting recognized by some of the largest publications um, that, and analysts that are critiquing and examining these different platforms. So Forcer Wave, they named us a strong performer. There's a Paradigm B2B report um, that where BitCommerce was one of the, the only partner actually to achieve gold uh, and partner ecosystem, as well as total cost of ownership, as well as the IDC Marketscape report uh, named BitCommerce a major player, and this is all specific to B2B. So more on why BitCommerce for B2B, what I would call um, our defensible differentiators. Uh, the first thing that I'll highlight is we have a flexible open SaaS platform. And I'll get into all of these in the following slides. Uh, we have a modern buyer experience, trusted technology like Coloris and, and Distribution One that you can easily integrate into our platform. And again, it's that low total cost of ownership when you compare us to other platforms like Magento or even Shopify. So a little bit on flexible open SaaS platform. So open SaaS is a term that many people aren't familiar with, but it's something we've kind of coined at um, BitCommerce. Effectively, what it means is we have six different open APIs that you are able to easily build any and every integration you'd like to inside of our platform. But out of the box, we have a lot of um, flexibility and because we are SaaS, we are actually taking care of a lot of the different, um, because we are SaaS, we take care of a lot of the different hosting and different services that you traditionally would have to get into, uh, you'd have to do yourself. Um, so we have a best in class ecosystem of agents and technology partners. We seamlessly connect to internal systems um, such as ERPs, um, OMSs, WMSs. Um, and then we give you the ability to go headless and speed up your time to market by leveraging your existing investments um, that you've already made, in your C CMS, your DXP, or your custom front end. So you really can use that technology on top of BitCommerce and use BitCommerce as that back end technology if you choose to go the headless route. So in terms of a modern buying experience, like I said before, what the industry has realized, and it's kind of funny, it's taking the industry quite some time to realize it, but a buyer and a consumer, when they're going through uh, their customer journey as a consumer, buying consumer-oriented goods that you might buy for your house or just yourself, when you're buying for business purposes, really that buying experience shouldn't be any different. I'm sure there's going to be uh, some nuances that are going to make for that B2B buying experience to be a little bit different. But in terms of how you evaluate products, decide on which product is going to be the best for you, that should be a very uh, consumer-oriented customer journey. So we have done our best to make that possible inside of big commerce. Um, so with Kathy's concepts specifically, they're utilizing, utilizing features on our platform like price lists, customer groups. Um, one of the things that they wanted to do is create uh, different pricing and different customer experiences based on the type of customer that was buying on their site. So we through features in our platform like price lists and like customer types, they're able to create those differentiated customer experiences that allow for those unique customer journeys for each and every type of buyer. 
So we are a trusted technology. Um, so what we mean by that is we are secured and vetted by coal fire ISO um, certification. It's an international gold standard for security. Um, we allow for unlimited bandwidth on Google Flat. Google Cloud Platform. It's one of the most flexible and most secure global hosting providers. And we do have the industry leading uptime at 99.99% um, backed by an SLA. And we can compare that to an industry average of 99.5 from other platforms like Magento, just as an example. And then one of the biggest reasons that we win lots of deals um, on top of just having that open SaaS mindset and infrastructure is just our low total cost of ownership. Um, so the cost savings of up to, are up to 50% compared to a different open SaaS platform. We actually have the fastest and most optimized global ex shopping experience. Um, we have benchmarks to, get, to back that up. And then when you do sign up with big commerce enterprise plans, you actually do get an assigned implementation project manager, and we're able to get sites on average up, up in uh, just 90 days. And if you compare that to other platforms that might be on prem, um, those can take up to those can some of the fastest implementations can, can take up to six months. So that's all I have for today. Of course, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat. I'm happy to address them. But uh, otherwise, Tim, I can give it back to you. Thank you so much, Adam. Great presentation. And I'm jealous that you're in Lake Tahoe. Thank it's you. one of my favorite cities. So you had, you had good Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. And we were lucky on the Wi-Fi. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was a great presentation. And Big Commerce is one of our partners, uh, premier partners for DC Cap. So these guys are, it's, it's been a pleasure working with these guys. So, so again, I'd like to just thank all the sponsors with all the speakers as well. So from Distribution One, from Big Commerce, and for Chloris. Uh, that was a great informative session. And just by looking at the poll section too, it seems like a lot of you guys were looking to for, so, for some help in integration. That was the number one you know, aspect for the, maybe some of your pain points. But then also managing data and uh, even even uh, gathering requirements and better design. So if you guys do need any help uh, with that, do reach out. Uh, we will be having a a post event networking session after this. Let me let me click on that real quick. So I'll share that, and you guys could join that um, immediately after this session. So yeah, so we'll, we'll have our sales team. We'll have other people in the in the ecosystem join that room as well. So that'll be a great way to network if you guys are still available. And uh, just uh, upcoming, we'll have our next e-session on March 9th. And um, look forward to having the next e-session on March 9th. If you guys don't have any questions, we'll see you guys then. So talk to you guys soon.